All right, let's see how long this battery lasts. Otherwise, I may have to get my work mobile. Oh, I just hate mobile phones, man. Anyways, um, so weirdness in the sense that now it's uh, September turn two. And the last people to go uh, were the Austrians, but the Austrians won the initiative. I uh, pulled the white cube, and they're going first. Um, so I've made the moves for the first uh, first army. I've um, I brought some of the uh, some of the German um, uh, one of the German brigades over to here uh, uh, over to Kateritz, and kept the other uh, the other one over at Krakow. And yet again, I'm just keeping those guys here, the uh, 101st Landwehr and the 110th, because um, I just don't know what's going on with the 4th Army, and I just can't imagine that in real life they would, you know, not even consider putting troops here when you, you can, you're getting reports of Russians coming down this freaking thing. Like, come on. Anyway, so uh, here... Yet again, I'm just trying to be a little bit, I mean, still hammering away with the September offensive. And maybe it's a good way of looking at it in this way, like that, um, you know, since the Austrians won the initiative, it's kind of like the continuation of their offensive. I don't know, maybe it, like everybody's been caught by surprise. It's not going to, you know, it's not massive. It's not like they have tons of supply points to use up anyways. And their, their strength points aren't very big. Anyways, yeah, I'll reveal that later. That's why you don't see them here, because I've already finished doing their moves, and I know where their combats are, and I've, you know, coded which ones are going for whatever. So we'll see see what happens. It's these guys here, the Third Army. Like I said, um, in, the la in one of my previous videos, I got so focused on the attack, and I forgot the whole point of these guys was to uh, defend Lemberg. And here I am going, you know, let's get everybody, like, let's win the battle of the bug, you know. And it's like, um, anyways, yeah, look, and so I used to have, as I said, I used to have troops here, and now I don't. So I'm going to try to f uh, bring these guys back, and it's going to be slow going, because I have to go straight back kind of thing, because it's like zones of control and the river. It's like, yeah, it's going to eat up, you know, four movement points real quick. Um, so, oh yeah, and these guys here, the 31st and the 32nd, I think. Yep. So I'm not allowed to use column movement as Austrians going towards the enemy or something like this in certain circumstances. This would be one of these circumstances. However, it doesn't matter anyways because they're not allowed to use column movement on the turn that they're mobilized. However, they were on a rail thing and I didn't I, I looked around I couldn't see anything that said that they weren't allowed to um, appear in train uh, on the train so I did that however they're not allowed to detrain uh, in an enemy zone of control and they're not allowed to get into an enemy zone of control I do believe on the same turn that they use rail movement I think doesn't matter uh, I wouldn't have wanted to um, it doesn't matter much because, like I said, uh, at first I was like, yeah, darn, I wish I could put these guys here. And then it, do it dawned on me, it's like, uh, wait a minute, weren't you supposed to be bringing your guys back? Kind of sucks in a weird way. Like, I'm like, ah, all that work to get around here. And imagine in real life, these poor buggers, I mean, you know, they're friends and they've been injured and, you know, killed. And it's like now we're retreating, or, but I don't know what they call it tactical withdrawal or some bloody thing. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start trying to feed the people back here. And I think I'm going to leave the video here now because I'm going to be spending lots of time like staring and uh, and um, looking at movement points. But uh, I'll post this. Why not? 